Since man first walked upright, he has looked to the stars and wondered, are we alone in this cold corner of space? If something is out there, would it be friend or foe? What would this Earth man think if he could see a desperate spaceship fleeing at a speed faster than imagination? What would he think if he saw the impact of potently powerful neutronic missiles upon its fragile frame? What would he make of the strange pod that ejected from the ruined remains just in time to avoid its mysterious inhabitants' destruction? And would he gape in wonder at the dozen or so strange canisters that burst from its hold and fell towards the atmosphere of our guileless globe? What emotion would pass through his mind as he observed these self-same containers as they passed through our atmosphere and fell upon the surface of an unsuspecting metropolis? So many questions and so few answers. Until now, dear viewers. Until now. An old man sits on a park bench, thinking of a time shrouded in the past. His name is Frank Stiles, and he was once one of the brilliant young scientists who worked on the Manhattan Project. The Manhattan Project, the secret experiment that ushered in the wonders and terrors of the atomic age, was his work that helped secure America's position as the leader of the free world. But Frank's memories are tinged with bitterness, he was thrown off the project when he accused one of his fellow scientists of being a communist spy. And now he sits in this park, every day feeling a little older and a little more useless. Just a minute. I recognize that man. It's O'Connor from the Manhattan Project. They never did believe me he was working for the Reds. But who's that suspicious fellow he's talking to? It looks like they're making some kind of secret exchange. I better move in closer for a better listen. Have you got the documents? Do you have my money? By Lenin's ghost. Is that all you Americans think about? The almighty dollar? Damn, I've been discovered. Idiot! You've been followed. Up to your old tricks, O'Connor? Do you know this capitalist fool? This is an itch I've been waiting to scratch for 20 years. We must flee before we are discovered. Come on! Bullet! Enter my heart! Fading fast! Wait! Statue of the Minuteman! Glowing! As if it were calling out to me! Power! Surging into me! Ah! I am growing younger! Body, bursting with strength, feel like I could lift a thousand pounds. That statue must have been hit with some fantastic kind of energy, but it's fading. It must have completely transferred it into my body. I don't know what will come from all of this, but I must use these new powers to help my country fight her enemies within and without. Those Reds might have killed Frank Stiles, but they're about to meet a Minute Man. to protect his identity, Minuteman searches for the treacherous O'Connor. Perhaps that double-crosser left some clues in this park to his whereabouts. To get information about playing the game, click on the glowing signs. Objects and people who you can click on in order to get more information are marked with a red exclamation point. Follow the yellow arrows to learn more about the game. If you already know how to play, follow the red arrow. Hit the O key to see your objectives. When you left click on an enemy, you execute your default attack. Try it on the thug ahead. For Patriot City! Right makes this. Right makes might! 
Two Say victory. hello to Mr. Bat. Say hello For to freedom. The status bar in the bottom right shows details on the target object. Move the pointer over the thug ahead to examine him. Right makes might. Stand back, Billy. No more. I'll squeal. This thug has surrendered. Left click on him to interrogate. I don't know where O'Connor is, but Louie might know. He's down on Concord Street. Right click on a target to bring up the command menu. For Patriot City! When using the command menu, the status bar shows details on each option available. Strike for Freedom is weaker than Smash, but it hits multiple enemies. Stand back, villain! Stand back, villain! Eat Stand this. back, villain! For justice! The purple bar on your portrait shows how much energy you have. Minuteman will stop attacking when he runs out of energy. You can force him to keep attacking, but this may stun him. Be careful. Try striking this boulder to pieces. You may run out of energy while doing so. To victory! To victory! To victory! Energy X canisters can restore your energy or give you other bonuses. Check how much energy a power will use from the energy bar attached to the command menu. Be careful when it flashes. You can hold down the right mouse button and drag the command menu around. This makes it easier to target moving enemies. Try it now. For freedom! Batter up! For Patriot City! You saved me! Thank you! You can change your default left-click attack by clicking the default power button in the lower left. Set it to Strike for Freedom before attacking these thugs. Stand back, villain! For justice! For freedom! Set your default attack back to Smash if you want to avoid running out of energy by accident. Who is that guy? Looks like trouble. You can talk to everyday inhabitants of Patriot City by clicking on them. They may have interesting things to say. To victory! The streets ain't safe no more. For Patriot City! You can wield some objects as weapons. Try using a traffic light as a club. Left click to swing or select Smackdown on the command menu. No more, I'll squeal, no more. I'll squeal! All right, all right, Vinny's down at the cafe. He'll know where O'Connor is. You get prestige by completing objectives. Prestige can be used to attract new heroes to your team. Hey, sweetie, hand over the greenbacks. Leave me alone! Ain't you got no manners? 
smash you good. Stand Abba, back, villain. You Arr. saved me. Thank you. You can choose a defensive power from the command menu. National Guard will help you approach these thugs safely. Ready for anything! Here they come! Daddy, I'm huh? about a lead sandwich! Oh, oh no! How about a lead sandwich? Ready for anything! Some pain. Oh, no. Please save me. Please oh, save me. I'm hit. I'm hit. Oh. You can pick up some objects to throw them at enemies. Try picking up a car. Now, left click to throw or select throw from the command menu. Please, please, help me, help me, or just a pain. Some of your characters will be able to take the high ground. Left click on the roof to jump up and defeat this enemy. Please, help me. How'd you like lead? Time for some pain. I can't take it. Stand I'll back, Berlin! For freedom! For Patriot City! Oh, don't feel so good! Oh. If you right-click on a power in the command menu, you can increase intensity to do more damage. For freedom! <laughs> To victory! <laughs> High intensity attacks use more energy. Lower intensity attacks do less damage but use less energy. Red Energy X canisters restore health. I feel refreshed and ready for battle. Bring them on! Avoid damaging buildings or hurting civilians, or you will lose prestige. How'd you like lead? On guard! To victory! <laughs> For Patriot City! <laughs> Green Energy X canisters give you experience bonuses to upgrade your character. More Energy X flowing into me! I feel more capable, stronger! They'll never stop me now! You can pause the game by hitting the spacebar. Hey, Louie told me you'd be coming. I'll take care of you. Fright makes I'll money. Make All right, I'll spill the beans. I give up. The boss just told me to keep you busy. I don't know who this costume do-gooder is, but I bet he can't survive an exploding building. enough. I give in. O'Connor is down for the count. You can interrogate him now. That's enough. I give in. Stand back, villain.
Time for a chat, my little red friend. Dead end, O'Connor. Time to face the music. Who are you? What do you want from me? Where did your pal go with the stolen documents? I don't know what you're talking about. It's a long way to the ground, O'Connor. You're all talk, Flagface. Stay back. Me or the street trader, you choose. Okay, okay. You'll find them down at the old Wilson Paper Warehouse on Benjamin Franklin Boulevard. You look tired, chum. Why not take a little nap? That was for Frank Stiles. Flush with his first victory, Minuteman heads downtown, unaware that he is watched all the while. He is coarse and untrained, but perhaps there is potential there. But potential for what? What mysterious plans are afoot for our hero? And who is this new mysterious figure on the scene? These are questions that time alone can answer. This is your chance to train Minuteman. Visit the team screen by left-clicking on the team button. Here you can train characters by spending character points. You gain character points each time you level up. Levels are gained by acquiring experience points for going on missions. Select Minuteman to see how many CP and XP he has, then click the train button. Character points can be spent to buy new attributes or powers. Click the power tab and buy Minute Missile. You'll need to level up Eternal Vigilance first. The power screen shows you details on a power. Now visit the database in order to gather information on your foes. Here you can examine enemies for strengths and weaknesses. Now proceed to the next mission by clicking on the Mission Briefing button. Don't forget to save the game first. Following a tip from O'Connor, Minuteman pursues his communist quarry to an abandoned paper warehouse. Now to track down that pesky Ruski and find out what's what! And in the wings, a stranger stands, watching. Hmm, the human is promising. Perhaps he will fit my purpose. Here's where you pick your squad for the mission. For now, you only have Minuteman available, so just enter the fray. Best to avoid the guards. Guards can only see in front of themselves and usually won't notice you if you are above them. Use this to your advantage. You can zoom the camera in and out by holding down the Alt key and moving the mouse, or using the mouse wheel. It helps when moving on rooftops to zoom out. Missile doesn't do much damage, but stuns enemies. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description.
And as always, until the next video, hasta.